the anterolateral side of the neck is formed from uh, upward by lower border of the mandible and the superior nuchal line downus formed by clavicle anteriorly the midline of the neck but posterior is formed by anterior border of the trapezius muscle it is subdivided by sternomastoid muscle into anterior and posterior triangles but the vessels and nerves can pass from one triangle to another without interruption and this is the anterolateral side of the neck upward formed by lower border of the mandible and this is the superior nuchal line downwards is formed by clavicle anterior is formed by midline posterior is formed by anterior border of trapezius muscle the anterolateral side of the neck subdivided by sternomastoid muscle into anterior triangle and this is the posterior triangle the anterior triangle it is an inverted triangle the base upward and the apex downwards boundaries lower border of the mandible forming the base of the triangle the midline forming the anterior boundary the anterior border of the sternomastoid muscle forming the posterior boundary the anterior triangle again subdivided by the gastric omohyoid muscle into smaller triangles number one the gastric triangle carotid muscular triangle and in the midline there is submental triangle this is subdivisions of the anterior triangle into digastric triangle and this is carotid triangle muscular triangle in the midline there is submental triangle the digastric triangle is bonded by lower border of the mandible superiorly then anterior below of the gastric muscle anterior inferior posterior below of the gastric with the stylohyoid muscle posterior inferiorly the floor of the gastric triangle is formed by mylohyoid muscle anteriorly and the hyoglossus muscle posteriorly the roof is formed by skin superficial fascia containing platysma and the deep fascia the submandibular region means the area between mandible and the hyoid bone. Sometimes it is called the suprahyoid region. This is the anterior triangle. This is digastric triangle here. This is submental triangle in the midline. And this is carotid triangle and this is muscular triangle. The contents of digastric triangle Number one, blood vessels as facial artery and the anterior facial vein. Nerves, I hypoglossal nerve passes on the hyoglossus muscle, then passes between hyoglossus muscle and the mylohyoid muscle. The nerve to mylohyoid, which passes on the surface of mylohyoid muscle. The glands and the digastric triangle are submandibular salivary gland and lower part of the parotid gland this is a submandibular salivary gland and this is lymph nodes submandibular lymph nodes and this is the facial artery which takes a tortuous course and then submental triangle formed by two halves of on, of both sides it lies below the chin boundaries symphysis menti forming the apex of the triangle then hyoid bone forming the base of the triangle and tubular of the gastric muscle of both sides forming the sides of the submental triangle the floor of submental triangle is formed by mylohyoid muscles of both sides and the median raphe between them contents of submental triangle number one submental lymph nodes submental veins which unite to form the beginning of the anterior jugular vein this is submental triangle symphysis menti forming the apex hyoid bone forming the base and 
This is anterior bulla of digastric muscle. This is mylohyoid muscle. And this is submental lymph nodes. And lastly, anterior jugular vein. The carotid triangle bond posteriorly by sternomastoid muscle, antero superior by posterior belly of digastric muscle, antero inferior by superior belly of omohyoid. The floor of carotid triangle anterior formed by hyoglossus muscle and the thyrohyoid muscle. Posterior in the middle and the inferior constrictor of the pharynx. This is again digastric triangle, this is carotid triangle, and this is muscular triangle. The contents of carotid triangle vessels, common carotid, and the two terminals of common carotid artery internal and the external carotid artery. Branches of the external carotid artery as superior thyroid, ascending in pharyngeal, lingual artery, facial, and the occipital arteries. This is in addition to internal jugular vein, which lies inside the carotid sheath. The nerves in the carotid triangle, number one, vagus nerve, lies inside the carotid sheath. Hypoglossal nerve passes superficial to the internal and external carotid arteries. The nerve gives of descending the hypoglossi from C1, which descends on the carotid sheath. Descending the hypoglossi, united with descending cervicalis from C2 and C3, descends over the carotid sheath to join each other and form ansa cervicalis. Root value cervical 1, 2, and 3. Then, sympathetic chain embedded in the posterior wall of the carotid sheath. This is the carotid triangle, and this is the branches of external carotid artery, common carotid artery, then two terminals, internal carotid and external carotid arteries. The muscular triangle, bounded anteriorly by midline in the neck, posterior superior bounded by superior bill of omohyoid muscle, posterior inferior by lower part of the anterior border of the sternomastoid. The contents of the muscular triangle, infrahyoid muscles, and thyroid gland. This is the muscular triangle containing infrahyoid muscles, sternohyoid, thyrohyoid muscle, and sternothyroid and omohyoid muscle in addition to thyroid gland.